We are here at uh, Dai's Design at Febcon 2017. Um, I've tested your stuff before. I've tested your, your hot end and your extruder, and you've changed up a few things. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, if we start with the extruder, we went from a direct drive extruder to a geared extruder, right. a dual pitch system, and also we have a nice locking mechanism, which makes it very easy to use. Perfect. And it is geared down, it is geared down five point something to one. Why, why did you choose that? And you have a, a fairly small motor too. Yeah, that's right. We, we have chosen this specific reduction ratio because we wanted, we wanted to match the actual motor torque with the reduction, with the gain we have with the re reduction to the, the maximum power we can achieve you, with the, the push of the filaments. So as soon as you reach the maximum of the motor, well, your motor will start skipping and not grinding the filament. All right, so that, that is actually properly engineered. That is good. Thanks. And you also have a, a special uh, tooth profile on your uh, hopped gears, whatever the, the official name for those is. Yeah, exactly. Well, instead of using a, a tap, which makes like very uh, deep and sharp teeth, we prefer using a standard uh, end mill tool and which make uh, a, a bit wider open teeth. So it's, it's much a cleaner operation in general. All right, so you would never need to, to go in and clean those. That, that is great. And you've also made a, a few subtle changes to your hot end. It's still the same 500 degree, degree thermistor in there. Um, what else has changed? Well, actually, uh, regarding the hot end, we have improved the uh, sensor uh, manufacturing. So a few people had troubles with setting up. So it's more user friendly now just by screwing it down. And also we have uh, improved the uh, sealing mechanism. So I remember, I remember you had a, a bit of trouble of changing it at room temperature yeah exactly so sometimes there was a little bit of plastic going out and right now we have better tolerance and a, a, a new alloy for the ceiling so it's it's better against high temperature and over on this side we have a few newer experimental things uh, what are those well first here we have our liquid cooling setup it's made for people who use a controlled environment a heated environment so most fans and, and motor are not made for high temperature so we prefer cooling these components using an active cooling with a radiator outside of the printer okay. so so that makes sense for that special application for a normal user would you recommend this well some normal user they don't tend to use peak and poly sulfone and other high temperature plastic so I would not recommend using this but it still can apply the depending on, on their needs okay perfect and over here you have the filament sentinel what is that about it's a very simple product actually it just detects the end of your spool of if or if your spool broke well it will pause your printer automatically. It's very simple to configure and it's very cheap. So just by missing one print, you would have paid your Sentinel. All right, that, that's looking really good. Uh, where can people find you if they want to find out more? They just have to reach our website to www.dicedesign.com. All right, perfect. Thanks, man. Thanks to you, man. <laughs>